What's up, y'all? It is your girl, Angel, and welcome back to Angel's Life. So I'm coming back to y'all with another Air Wife Life video. I know y'all haven't had one in a long time, and I'm sorry, but no worries, because we got one today. So let me start off by saying hi, in case you do not know. Y'all saw that? Y'all wasn't even going to tell me, was y'all? I had a little gloss on my teeth. But in case y'all don't know, again, hi, I am Angel, okay? I am an Air Force wife or a MILSO, military spouse, and I am married to Darius. I am married to a man by the name of Darius, and we are stationed at Yokota Air Base in Tokyo, Japan. So, now that we got that out the way, let's talk about banking on base. So, there are two banks at Yokota Air Base, two okay that is navy federal and community bank which is ran by bank of america so that is something that you should be mindful of if you are coming to yakota one if you're traveling to yakota or two if you are actually being stationed at yakota those are the only two banks on base i personally have usaa and we originally we originally was like you know what we're not going to um we're just going to keep our USA accounts and not, you know, worry about, like, the banks that they have on base. But that can kind of be an inconvenience if you are getting cash, if you work in a business where you're getting cash, or if you're being sent cash, or if you ever have any cash that you, you know, don't necessarily want to use or exchange, so to speak, it can be a little inconvenient. So... Definitely want to let y'all know if you are traveling to Yokota Air Base, make sure that you either one have a, a, a full full through plan, a full foolproof plan to where you do not need um to where you do not ever have disposable. Well, not disposable cash. What 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 cash is disposable? To where you know you basically don't need to deposit the money, or you could always like I guess. Western Union the money to yourself I don't know to be honest it's just completely easier to just get a Navy federal account me and Darius ended up just getting one Navy federal account and so that we can have the cash to deposit into the bank and we um and then we just transfer the money to our joint USA account so that's how me and Darius works it out of course everybody else has their own thing so next one First thing we talked about was banking on base. What, how many banks they have? Two. What are the two banks? Navy Federal and Community Bank, which is ran by Bank of America. I am not completely sure if you have a Bank of America account. You can still kind of use like the whole what Community Bank has going on. I'm not completely sure about that. But on everything that has Community Bank on it, it does have like in partnered or ran by Bank of America. So I'm pretty sure you probably, if you do have Bank of America, you probably could like use that Bank of America account with a uh, community bank. So two, talking about banking. Two, exchanging yen. So Navy Federal and Community Bank both exchange yen, exchange yen, like exchange your dollars for yen. So if you are changing your yen to America to USD, the rate at Bank of America is like um, one ten. The rate the rate at Navy Federal, I believe, is one twenty or one twenty five. So the rate at Community Bank is way better. So I would definitely advise that if you have any money to exchange, exchange it at Community Bank and not Bank of America. Okay, and two. Um, if you are changing from dollars to yen, the exchange rate depends on the yen rate of the day. Today, the yen rate is 104. So, that's how that works. Um, there are, you also, the, all of the ATMs though, so although that there's a Navy Federal here, there's only one Navy Federal ATM and it is at the Navy Federal location. As far as ATMs across the base, all of those are community banks. Now, it doesn't matter what type of, it doesn't matter what bank you have, you won't get charged extra, like there's not crazy 
fees like at a regular ATM you go to there's like crazy fees associated with the ATM the community bank ATM doesn't charge you any fees to take out yen and you can also take out yen or USD at all of the community bank at all of the community bank um, ATMs but if you are taking out yen so back in the states or you know uh, USD usually ATMs let you take out like 20 40 60 80 so on and so forth so increments of 20 every once in a while you can find an atm that lets you take out in increments of tens but as far as usd you can take out in increments of 20 as far as yen is concerned you can only take out in increments of excuse me y'all <laughs> i'm sorry as far as yen you can only take out in increments of five thousand so essentially, that's like, depending on the yen rate, that's roughly like 45 to $47 USD. But you can only take out 5000 in 5000 increments at the community bank, bank ATMs. And there is about, there's about one, two, three, four. There's about four or five spread across the base that you can go to from the east side to the west side and so on and so forth so um what else you only can pay I, it's so crazy so if you're going to buy food at like uh in the bx you can pay with yen there but you cannot pay with yen at the commissary or at the actual exchange they only accept usd or you know cards and stuff like that so that's that and uh, that's pretty much it that's pretty much all that i have for you guys if you have any more questions feel free to hit me in the comment section down below um i'm sorry if this video is a little late but y'all know shit be going on i'm sorry the video, to be completely honest, the video is motherfucking late because I spent two hours watching Beyonce's Coachella performance and it was absolutely worth it, okay? B tore the motherfucking house down, okay? She out. I, I am going, like, Beyonce is easily, as far as I'm concerned, the greatest entertainer of our time. Don't get me wrong, there are some good entertainers out there, but Beyonce is the greatest entertainer of our time. I'm not talking the time where Michael Jackson, that's, that's, that's daytime. I'm talking about our time. Beyonce tore the house down. Oh, I gagged when she brought Solange out in Destiny's Child. I was, the show was everything. So that is why this video is coming out late because I was so busy watching Beyonce. Coachella performance. I also watched like Cardi B's and Scissors. I love I love the homage that Cardi B paid to paid to TLC as far as her outfit is concerned. That was cute, but her set wasn't really that good. And SZA, I couldn't get past the outfit. I don't know what the fuck I was looking at with the boots and the, I I don't. And usually I love SZA. I love I usually I love everything that she do. I wasn't fucking with it, and I, I did not hear her play The weekend. I skipped through it because it wasn't, you know, I wasn't that entertained, but I ain't here The weekend, and that's what I came to hear, you know? So if she performed it, y'all let me know at what minute I need to stop it to catch The weekend. But, um, but again, that's all I got for y'all guys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to my channel. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and like all my motherfucking videos and i will see y'all in the next video peace yeah yeah uh, they be watching what i do, what I do. hold it ready for the show